Hello, I'm Ryan, and a few months ago, I found out my family's secret that they had been hiding from me for my entire life. And this secret was... my uncle. You see, my parents are pretty, uh, conservative in almost every way possible. They wouldn't let me dress like I wanted to or listen to the music I liked, but I would still do it in secret. I would wear something normal in front of them and in school. Then in the evening, when I would get the chance, I'd wear something cool what my parents would call rebellious, and go hang out with my friends and attend a concert or something like that. I always wondered why I was so different from my entire family. But it turns out, I wasn't the only one. One evening, I went to a small open mic event. You know, anyone could sing or recite poetry or tell jokes. Anything you wanted to do, basically. And imagine my surprise when a man got on stage with a guitar. He was wearing really bright clothing. He had long hair and earrings, and it was my dad. I couldn't believe my eyes. And then, when he started singing, my ears either. He was such a good singer, but it felt like a dream. I went up to him afterward and cautiously asked, Dad? He stared at me for five seconds, and his face slowly changed. His eyes widened, and a surprised smile appeared on his face. Hello, nephew. What? He explained to me that he was my father's twin brother, Nicholas, and he was visiting our town for the first time in many years and would be staying for over a month, maybe even two. He was really happy to see me, and we talked for a long time. I finally asked him why I didn't know about him. He was hesitant and decided that it was better for me to not know. Then he gave me his contact information for if I wanted to hang out with him later. I uh, really wanted to find out the truth, so I decided to ask my father the next day, but I couldn't tell him about the concert, so I lied and said that I just saw Nick on the street. Dad got furious, like red in the face, and he even clenched his fists, finally saying, never, ever talk to him. Then Dad told me the whole story. Nick was always weird, like he would be rebellious, go against their parents' wishes, dress, and act however he wanted. It was awkward, because it was like he was talking about me. And then he revealed the true reason why nobody ever talked about him. My uncle stole a large sum of money from my grandparents and ran away. And my father had never talked to him or seen him since then. I uh, couldn't believe it. Or at least I didn't want to. I felt like my uncle was someone who would understand me. So I wanted to hang out with him again. So the next week, I went to the open mic night again. And he was there. He played some music again. And afterward... I decided to ask him why he stole that money. He really didn't want to answer me, and he changed the subject. He told me a lot of stories about his life and travels and promised to teach me to play guitar until he had to leave our town again. I really didn't want him to leave, because at this point, it felt like he was my real father. After a week or so, I went to the open mic night again, because I really liked that place. We were walking down the street and chatting when my parents' car arrived. My father got out of the car, furious. I guess someone had seen us and told my parents. My father started shouting at me and dragged me into the car. Uncle Nick was just standing there, and he was a little bit scared. Then my dad got really close to him and put his finger on Nick's chest. He said, Keep away from my family! As we were leaving, Uncle Nick was looking at us with a very sad look on his face. I begged my dad to reconsider, but he wouldn't listen. Of course, they banned me from going anywhere except to school. He also took away my phone and blocked Uncle Nick on my Facebook page. He blamed Nick for my changes. Well, in fact, I had been like that for a long time already. My dad was always angry and barely talked with me, and I felt like it wasn't fair that they took away everything I liked and what made me, me. I tried to express that, but my father would just say, You will never be like him. When I was in school, I tried to contact my uncle with my friend's phone, and he said just to leave it alone. I felt disappointed by both my father and my uncle. But one evening, someone rang the doorbell while we were eating. Dad opened the door, and it was Uncle Nick. Dad started shouting at him, and my uncle silently looked at his feet. Finally, when my dad started to close the door, Uncle Nick loudly said, I didn't steal the money! The door closed. Dad turned away and looked at me and my mom. After a few seconds, he opened the door again and asked, What are you talking about? My uncle sighed and told him what really happened. It turns out that my grandparents tolerated his attitude and rebelliousness 
until he told them the whole truth. He revealed to them that he was gay, and he didn't want to hide or lie anymore. My grandparents were shocked and disgusted. After they tried to persuade him that he wasn't gay, my grandparents gave up. They didn't want to have him in the family anymore because they thought he was a disgrace. So they gave him the money and told him to leave and to never come back. They paid their own son to leave forever. They lied to my father, and Uncle Nick always wanted to tell the truth, especially to me. But he didn't want to cause any problems. But then he realized that he wanted to be friends with our family, and especially with me, because he was leaving town soon, and this was his last chance. My dad stood there speechless. He was confused, and there was definitely a bit of remorse in his face. I thought that they would hug and that my uncle would join us for dinner, but my dad looked down and quietly said, I think you should go, Nick. Nick just sighed and left, and my dad went to his room without saying a word. After a few days, my dad came into my room and gave me my phone back and allowed me to chat with my uncle, only without, as he said, talking about weird stuff. My uncle later texted me, telling that he and my father used to be close friends despite being so different and that my dad was probably hurt because Nick left without saying a word, and also because he thought Nick stole the money. I slowly started to dress and act like I wanted to. Not so much that I'd shock my parents, but little steps, you know? I want to visit my uncle once I'm 18, and I hope that my father will make peace with him eventually. At least I know that he loves his brother, even if he is confused right now. There are so many different people with different stories in the world, and I'm glad I shared mine. Like and subscribe if you liked it. And if you have something to share, do it.